Hello all you beautiful people. Welcome back to EUC Way of Life. That there's my Bagoda A2 and that's my new helmet. So let's talk helmets. As a lot of you know, I ride around in a Steelbird SBA2. It is my absolute favorite. It is extremely light, has a super nice face shield. They, the only issue with them is they're not super comfortable and you have to order them out of India, so it's kind of hit and miss on trying to get one and get it in good condition. I also have the TSG Pass Pro and a Icon Air Flight that's all decked out that you never see. This is the newest edition. A lot of you have probably seen this before, and I just wanted to make this video because this helmet is currently on sale for 135 bucks. TSG Pass Pro, 360. The SBA2 is about 75 to 90 bucks. So for not much more than the SBA, you get a MIPS rated helmet, tons of ventilation, a chin bar for that extra safety, and a lot more features than you get with the TSG Pass Pro. I feel like I'm riding around my Icon with one quarter of the weight. So let's get into this thing real quick. For starters, ventilation. The TSG Pass Pro has basically no ventilation at all, in case you guys were wondering. The Steelbird SBA2 has a little slider up top that opens a couple of vents and the ventilation is not that great. It is heckin' hot here in Washington and I really wanted to be comfortable. So this has the dial on the back and it actually closes every single one of these upper vents, which is pretty spectacular, if you guys could see that. Easy and great. The back does have two holes for ventilation. They do not have any kind of closing mechanism or anything, but if you're all closed up, not much air is gonna be going through or escaping out of there. It is MIPS rated, and you can see that additional green foam in there. The other thing, is it does have ventilation in the front and these are fully closable as well. So this is technically a Salam helmet. It's like a downhill ski racing helmet or something of the sort. This model is the Arctic SL and again it's normally 270 and it's on sale for 135 bucks. This breakaway chin guard here is adjustable to an extent. There's three separate rings and a spring that go inside here. And if you use one or two of the rings, you could adjust it easily, or it has a firm adjustment, or you could use their no breakaway locking ring, which if you put that in there, there's no adjustment at all once you cinch down those screws. It still says a breakaway, but those screws, they go all the way through into that metal bracket there that the chin strap is going through to. So I think you'd have to hit pretty hard. I tried to look it up to see if this was metal, aluminum, if it had any kind of structural support inside of it other than it being this plastic. And I don't know what kind of material it's made out of, but I'm sure it's impact resistant or it wouldn't be, uh, it's on the other side, MIPS rated. So tons of ventilation, extremely, extremely light. One thing I absolutely love about it is it has the adjustment wheel in the back there, just like a normal bicycle helmet, which makes this thing a lot more universal for riders. You know, the SBA2, mine's a little bit big, it's a 600 millimeter, and I have a huge head, and the 580's a little small for me. The TSG Pass Pro kind of runs the same way, and when you start getting to DOT motorcycle helmets, you start running into the same thing. They're either narrow, they're oval shaped, they're not big enough or they're too big, the padding's too thick or it has pressure points. This helmet is extremely comfortable. And one of the other cool things I wanted to show you guys about it, is I can't remember what this buckle's called, but look. Hold on, it's at a weird angle here. It's magnetic. It's got a special little clasp system and it is magnetic. When it's on your head, it is super easy. You just pull that thing down and pop it open. The biggest reason why I ride around at the, TS, or the uh, Steelbird SBA2 is because it's light, it's ventilated, it has a cool visor 
and the clasp is a quick release clasp. On the TSG, it's a double D buckle, so standard, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to constantly take it on and off. This helmet, I do want to note, does not come with this cool lens. All of my other helmets have lenses. Bugs are crazy here in Washington with all of our lakes and rivers and creeks and streams. So I had to have something not only for this lovely sun everybody loves, but for the bugs. And the helmet normally comes like that. So nothing to protect your eyes, nothing to protect your eyeballs from bugs or the sun. And these bad boys come with the magnets pre-installed. They're like riveted on there, are $13 on Amazon. And I was like, dude, I know this is for a cheap bicycle helmet, but I bet I could retrofit it to this nice MIPS rated helmet. I got magnets. It was like 12 bucks for a fat pack of 50. They're almost the same diameter as the little magnets here. And it works perfectly. And the cool thing is, is when you don't want to use it anymore, you can just take the lens off pop it on upside down and you're all set so I just wanted to give you guys an update you know everybody's always asking about helmet suggestions I see posts regularly and since this thing right now is on sale for 135 bucks I wanted to get this video out today before that sale ends I'm not sponsored by POC I've never actually even owned a POC helmet before I just did a bunch of research and was trying to find a lightweight helmet that still had a chin bar to protect my face. So I'll drop a link below for this thing. I don't know how long the sale is going for. I think it is closeout, so it is non-returnable. Make sure you measure your head before you order the size, but it is adjustable. So on the back you'll see this says 59 to 62. It's an extra large to XXL. So I don't know what size they're on sale. I know this one is in two different colors. So go snag yourself one if you're looking for a good summer lightweight helmet. And there is earmuffs that go on this too. I pulled those things off at summertime, nobody needs them. So there is earmuffs, but all in all, great ventilation, super light, super comfortable. You could get an add-on like this, do it yourself for, what was it, 25 bucks and you got a bunch of spare magnets. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you think this helmet is cool. I mean, I don't really care because I do and it's my helmet. However, if you want one, go snag one and I'm going to bring y'all on an update on this Pagoda A2. And as always, I hope you all have a beautiful day, you beautiful people. Look at that sweet wheel. Look at that awesome lightweight helmet. All right, check you guys later.